Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, study of civil engineering. In this video, we are going to discuss the slope of a breast wall and excavation level of breast wall. This video is going to be very important and useful from practical point of view. In this video, we will learn how to calculate bottom slope as you can see over here. How to calculate this slope and excavation level of breast wall. These simple four steps will be followed to determine the slope and excavation level. So watch complete video to understand the requirements of the topic. This video is equally important for both surveyors and site engineers. So let's start our today's topic. This picture clearly depicts the difference between retaining wall. This is retaining wall and on the right side here is breast wall. So what is the main difference? To understand the difference between retaining wall and breast wall, just remember that the wall constructed on hillside, this is hillside, okay? And the wall constructed on hillside or cutting or excavated site, as you can see over here, there is excavation. So the wall constructed on hillside or excavated site is called as breast wall, whereas the wall constructed now we are talking about retaining wall. The wall constructed to retain filling is termed as retaining wall. As you can see over here, this is the fill it, filling material. And to retain this filling material, the wall constructed is called as retaining wall. As you can see over here in this picture. So this is the main difference. And one thing important to note is that base of breast wall is in the form of slope. As you can see over here, the wall is a bit tilted in towards backward or towards hill. Why is this so? Because to make it stable, okay, to make it more stable and the slope as you can observe here that the toe is slightly elevated or raised as compared to heel of the wall. And this is another picture which shows typical drawing of retaining wall and breast wall. As I told you guys that wall constructed along hillside as you can see over here this is hillside and the wall constructed along hillside is breast wall and the base is in the form of slope to make it more stable against sliding. The slope provided is between 1 in 5 to 1 in 3. What is 1 in 5 and 1 in 3? These are different representations of the slope about which I have made detailed videos and find the link in the description for better understanding. Okay. Now, so uh, now let's find the excavation levels. To find the excavation level, uh, in first step, we will have to determine the subgrade level. It is very important to determine the subgrade level because to lay down the foundation of breast wall, it is important to place it over the firm, compacted, and stable ground. Foundation cannot be laid on the loose earth. So to find subgrade level, you will have to have road structure details. This is the picture which shows road cross section and thickness of each layer is mentioned in it. Road cross section vary from project to project. Now if we sum up the thicknesses like first layer is 25 as you can see over here. The surface course is 25, the second layer is 50 millimeters, uh, and the base course is 100 millimeters, sub base course is 100, and compacted earth is 150. If we sum up, it will add up to 825 millimeters, or you can say 0.82 meters. So then there is natural ground, as you can see over here. Under 0.082, there is natural ground and so this is the place where foundation of breast wall is supposed to be laid. That's why this level have to be determined from the road cross section given along the other drawings. Okay, the detail of road cross section is provided in the construction drawing. So this level have to be determined as I mentioned that breast wall cannot be placed above subgrade level it has to be placed on compacted stable ground. So this is very important to 
सो इट्स मीन डेट ब्रस्ट वॉल हैव टू बी लेड ऑन नेचुरल ग्राउंड to make it more stable okay so sub grade level is 0.82 below the finish road level this is finish road level and the center line of a road is taken as reference for all type of excavations if you carry out the road construction project okay so this is the reference point center line of a road is reference point and 0.82 meter if you go down 0.82 meter there is sub grade level now you uh, can easily find the excavation level okay you have uh, in first step you found the sub grade level which is 0.82 meter below the finish floor level okay or finish road level and then second step is find elevation el is for elevation level of toe or uh, you can say excavation level of toe and if you see over here 1884 is the center line level okay as i mentioned that this is taken to be the reference and if you subtract the road structure which is 0.82 it will become uh, 1883.18 which is the excavation level of toe so that's how in step 2 you can find excavation level of toe then the third step is compute slope as i mentioned that the base of a breast wall is in the form of slope let's suppose the uh, the width of a base is 2 meters and the slope is 1 ratio 3 so it will become y divided by x as gradient or slope is equal to 1 divided by 3 or y divided by x so the slope is 0.33 meters how will you calculate this slope simple multiply the distance with slope the distance is 2 meters and the slope is 0.33 so you will get this fraction okay now if you subtract this fraction from toe level as you can see over here this level is already computed in the previous slide subtract 0.66 from this level you will get to reach the excavation level of heel this level okay so the level of this point is 1882.52 so these are the four simple steps to calculate the excavation level and slope of a base of a breast wall so that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates